The Peter Schiff Show. I don't know if anybody happened to catch this on ABC. It was on Friday morning uh, with Chris Cuomo, who uh, basically convened a group of second graders. I guess they're about seven-year-old kids, and wanted to ask them what their advice would be on how to improve the economy. Now, you know, why you would want to ask seventh graders uh, for economic advice is a whole other story. Although, as I'm listening to these kids, it occurred to me that maybe ABC isn't the first organization to think about asking seven-year-olds how to handle the economy. I think maybe uh, President Obama's entire economic plan was the brainchild of this seven-year-old uh, kids in this uh, in, in second grade. Maybe it was a class project. You know, and so as you're, as you're listening to these little kids speak, just imagine that you're hearing President Obama's cabinet, because pretty much this pretty much sums up about the understanding of economics. I think maybe uh, the typical uh, cabinet head in the Obama administration, certainly the members of his economic team, have no better understanding of economics uh, than the seven-year-olds uh, in this ABC clip. But first, let's actually play uh, some of their uh, some of the advice that they have that, unfortunately, President Obama has been following. First one is going to start with a little girl. Very, very, you know, it doesn't even do it justice. You got to find this thing on YouTube because these kids are really, really cute. Uh, but so one of them, there's a discussion with a little girl uh, who uh, who wants to be president herself one day. And, and here are the questions uh, that she's asked. This is uh, cut number five. Why should I vote for you? I'll, like, ask the rich people to give some of the money to the government and ask the government to give the people people who really need the money. Who's voting for Kaneen for president when she grows up? Oh, yeah? Okay, I represent Everybody the raise their people hand. now. I don't want to give any more money. Well, then you're greedy. Oh, I'm greedy? No offense. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so there you have it. It's it, this is take money from the rich people and give it to the poor people. Isn't that what we're doing? Isn't that Obama's idea? I mean, do we really we really need somebody to be president? We can just add, I mean, any seven seven year old kid, sure, take money from the rich, give it to the poor. If they don't want to give it, they're greedy. Yeah, but you know what? It wouldn't be so funny. This is our plan. This is the president's plan. Tax the rich and give it to the poor. Hey, a seven-year-old can come up with something like that. In fact, she did. And maybe, maybe it was a seven-year-old. Maybe, maybe what's happening is President Obama is getting his economic advice from his two daughters. Maybe that's where the whole plan is coming from. Who knows? But anyway, so tax the rich, give the money to the poor. Okay, that's 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 one of the, the that one of the ideas. So let's play a little bit more. Here's some more ideas on how we can get America back. Here, cut number six. How do we bring America back? It could be kind of better if there is more things made in the U.S. So that when we look at this thing where it says it's made, that we could actually be kind of. Happier that's made in the U.S. I like that. That's good. We could pay more except instead of paying the minimum wage. Save more money. Save more money. Who knows what a tax okay. is? <laughs> You're going to know even better when you get older. Let me tell you that. Now, you know, a couple of these kids actually prove that they know more than President Obama. One kid wants us to save more money. Hey, that'd be a good idea if we could save more money. Unfortunately, President Obama uh, is trying to prevent us from saying, saving more. One of the kids... Uh, said that we need to make more stuff here, which is true. We do need to make more stuff here. Uh, so maybe I, I got I to gotta take it back. I, I, I think maybe the president is getting his advice from, from five-year-olds because some of these seven-year-olds are obviously smarter than the people in, in Obama's cabinet. But one of the kids actually might have been uh, from Obama's cabinet. He was snuck in there because his idea was that we, we pay more than a minimum wage. So in other words, we have too many people that don't have jobs, and so we should increase a wages. Well, of course, that's going to backfire. It sounds great, right? Let's pay people more. But if you pay people more, then you're going to hire fewer people. And so uh, increase in minimum wage law is not a good thing to do, although it is something that uh, Repub that uh, Congress uh, continues to advocate. I'm sure the president is in favor. But here's here's where it gets it gets a little funnier here. Uh, let's play cut number seven. If you have a cookie and I ask you for half the cookie, how do you feel? I'm fine with that because I get the other half. Don't you usually say, like, you're going to have a bite? <laughs> no, I don't do that. If it's twice the size of a regular cookie and you break it in half, it's the size of a regular cookie. So, so you don't give one cookie. That is a genius idea. Here's why. If you have more of things, people are more willing to share. Does that make sense? 
Yes. So then the question becomes, how do we make more money, more things in the United States so we have more to share? Yeah, but the problem is there. They're trying to imply that if the government takes half of what you earn, if they take half of your cookie, somehow you're going to be incentivized to bake more cookies. That's not how to grow the economic pie. He's got it half right. We do want to grow the pie, but we don't grow the pie by having the government slice it in half and, and take, it, take it away from the people who are baking it and giving it to the people who are not. That is not the way to But here, no, here's the real gem. Here's the funniest stuff uh, from this whole thing. And when, you, and when you're listening to these little kids – I mean, really, really think about uh, President Obama's cabinet and just really put their faces on on these kids. And this is because this is exactly the kind of stuff that they're talking about right now in Washington. Here, cut number eight. What can we make here? Pants that glow in the dark. Glow in the dark pants. That's what I'm talking about. What else can we make? You can put money in a printer, then you can print it, then it'll get, make more that's, money. That's called counterfeiting, and you go to jail for the rest of your life what? if you do that. <laughs> that's you illegal. Can go. Yeah. That's illegal. illegal. What about a money machine? Or like a tree that makes money. Okay. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. My wife yeah. believes I have one of those in my backyard. Oh. You do? No, you, oh. I don't. Oh, no, that'd be I don't. awesome, though. Oh. Yes. <laughs> Maybe we can make a rocket to keep forward. A rocket skateboard. Oh. 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 You had two oh. rockets on the side and you and you hit a button and you do zoom. <laughs> yep, that's his cabinet. I mean, think about when they came up with the idea to to subsidize Solyndra and their solar panels. I mean, yeah, I mean, what you know, they, they might as well be subsidizing a company that makes uh, glow in the dark pants. You know, these are these bureaucrats sitting around thinking up, hey, what can we make? Yeah, glow in the dark pants. Hey, hey I, it might not even be a joke. One day we might find out that we are subsidizing a company that wants to make glow in the dark pants. Or what about rocket propelled uh, skateboards? Although, you know, there might be some kind of uh, problems there with the uh, EPA or not the EPA or the OSHA or something. There could be a lot of litigation and safety concerns over rocket propelled skateboards. But this is what politicians are sitting around doing, trying to come up with ideas. The market needs to come up with ideas. I mean, maybe we need glow in the dark pants and maybe we don't. But it's, it's not up to the government to decide. It's up to the market to decide if there's demand for glow-in-the-dark pants, if people actually want their pants to glow in the dark and they're willing to pay for them. But probably some of the funniest stuff has to do with the kids that say, hey, let's just print money. We need more money. Let's just print up a bunch of money. Isn't that our plan? Isn't that what we're doing? Isn't that quantitative easing? Now, I don't know why uh, uh, the host said that that's counterfeiting. I guess it's counterfeiting when individuals do it, but... Why isn't it counterfeiting when the Federal Reserve does it? Because I think that's what the kids were saying. We need more money. We need a money tree. We need a money machine. We don't need a money machine. We got Ben Bernanke. He's got, he's the money machine. So in other words, what do the kids want to do? The kids want to print money. They want to take money from the rich. They want to give it to the poor. And they want the government to try to figure out what we should be making here. And then I guess subsidize the things that the government thinks that we need. You know, like low in the dark pants or rocket propelled uh, skateboards. In other words, President Obama's entire economic plan can basically be summed up by these second graders, by these seven year olds. Now, what does that tell you? If the president can't come up with anything more ingenuitive than what seven year old kids can do, how can this be the answer? How can this be the answer if a seven year old can think of it?